And that is right. This is the channel that's the summit. This is the channel that stamps a flag into the ground. This is a channel that is all ego. And this is a channel even the haters love. This, of course, is the People's Wrestling Channel. I am your number one heel, Hall of Fame Rock, and UPR Strike General Manager, Ricky Goldman, Ricky Goldman, Ricky Goldman. And right now, you tell all your friends, you spread the word, get your photos heard, and tell everyone you know. Check out all my other videos. Check out that description and smash the bell to enable you to know one of my notifications on. Um, and me on Facebook, Ricky JP. For me on Twitter, Rick the Rock 30. Share, 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 and share again. Comment below. Comment, comment, comment below. Go and view on like WWA World Wrestling Alliance on Facebook, as well as on Facebook and Twitter, my blog, on Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube. UPR on Popular Review, UPR on Popular Review, UPR on Popular Review, UPR on Popular Review. And yes, I've got my own t shirts on Pro Wrestling Tees. Well deserved. Why not? I know you're jealous. Go and search Goldman's on Pro Wrestling Tees and buy one. And to get those two, 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 two shout outs, you like and subscribe. Like and subscribe. Like and subscribe. Like and subscribe right now. So, this is going to be different. Even though. I'm hated. I try and be unique and different as I can here. Being creative. So, we will start with the 2020 version of... Clash of Champions Gold Rush. And we did have a match on that kick-off show. It was meant to be for the Raw Women's Championship, but it was, was for the SmackDown Tag Team Championship. It was Kalisto and Lindsay Dorado, the Lucha High Party, challenging Cesaro and Shinsuke Nakamura. Uh, I would have personally have had Lindsay Dorado and Grand Metalik in this match. I would have also had this match on the main card, but there you go. Really not much to be said. It was a decent match. Uh, Lucha High Party looked good in defeat. Therefore, Cesaro and, Shinsuke, Cesaro and Shinsuke Nakamura are still SmackDown Tag Team Champions. We then go running onto the main card. And we started with a triple threat ladder match for the Intercontinental Championship. The high flying Jeff Hardy, the insane Sami Zayn, and the phenomenal one, AJ Styles. All vying for that title, and what a way to kick things off. What a way to open the show. Jeff Hardy, Zayn, and Styles wanting the title. Some wide big spots here. Jeff Hardy on the ladder, like, what, kind of trying to crawl down it. The ladder falls over, it almost cuts him in half. That looked bad, I hope he's okay. You then saw Jeff Hardy fly off that ladder and through Sami Zayn and through a ladder. You had Sami Zayn hook handcuffs to Jeff's ear onto a ladder. That was crazy. A lot of creative things in this match. One of the best ladder matches I've probably ever seen. And what a way to kick off the show. Really, really good, I thought. Uh, not a couple of botches, but none that really matter. And I got the prediction right. And your undisputed Intercol champion, Sami Zayn, which I think is better because he can feud with Jeff Hardy. We had Drew Gulak win the 2027 title. Okay. The next two matches I thought quite felt filler. This match was meant to be beyond the kickoff show, and it was the Empress of Tomorrow, Asuka, taking on the one, the only, none other than Zelina Vega. So this was for the Raw Women's Championship, and this Zelina Vega I thought looked good. I thought she looked decent. I thought she'd. Go, I do think she's got a lot better, and she put on a quite a decent match. But she wasn't successful, she was unsuccessful and lost to Asuka and Asuka is still your Raw Women's Champion. Next up was for the United States Championship. It was the former champion in the athletic Polo Cruz taking on the CEO of the Hurt Business, Bobby Lashley. Um, again, like I said, a filler match. A match you, you would see on Raw. I'm probably going to do it at some point. Apollo looked good here. Uh, but we're really not much else I'm going to say except for still United States Champion Bobby Lashley. Now, I'm going to do predictions for this Sunday's... Hang on. TakeOver 31. I want to predict 
two matches. Then I'm going to do another video and run through the rest of the matches at Clash of Champions and predict the rest of the champions at uh, predict the rest of the matches at Takeover. So it will be for the Cruiserweight Championship leader of Legado del Fantasma Santos Escobar, defending against. The one and only Isaiah Swerve Scott. Isaiah really doesn't need a title to be pushed. He, or to be over, he is over. Legado Del Fantasma really haven't had that big push. So therefore, I see walking out this Sunday as Cruiserweight Champion Santos Escobar. And in a match with no title on the line, it will be the flamboyant Velveteen Dream taking on the one and only Kushida. Uh, and I see Kushida picking up the victory here. Now, quickly, I see that I have some dislikes on the Pro Wrestling Tees video and on the Strike video promoting Strike. Why? Because you're jealous, because you can't be that creative. You know, people like, let's say, Declan, where you no subscribers, you're two subscribers, at least I'm doing content, good or bad, at least I'm doing content on the Pro Wrestling Tees video on the strike video i didn't mention pcw or the wonderful fantastic great bigger than visible man bigger than the rock god himself loader i didn't mention either so if you don't like me it is pretty simple you don't watch i'm not going to go to your head forcing you to watch i've said it before i'm going to say it again i'm not forcing you to watch click or anything i don't want you watching if you don't like me pretty damn simple anyway like and subscribe, like and subscribe. You know you want to, don't say it again. Like and subscribe, like and subscribe. Because I am the man. I am the tribal chief. I am better than you. I am a heel, spelt H-W-L, Declan. And I am Ricky 